and time for our talk of the town today a little bit early today we're going to have uh, two guests we'll be talking to beth uh, Svenby in a little bit about the run for the heart coming up in may but we're going to lead it off with our another activity coming up on saturday it's the bowl for kids sake for southern minnesota as uh, michelle redmond joins us yeah hi you're coming up next waving a bat there and michelle of course coming up uh, saturday but we should also we always sometimes forget to mention the fact Friday for folks who want to go to Faribault instead, you can do something there. Huh? Correct. We have Bowl for Kids Sake coming up um, Friday the 15th from 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock at J&J Bowling Center in Faribault. And then also we have here at Spare Time Entertainment on Saturday, the whole day of giving here in Owatonna. We start out that day at 9 o'clock at Spare Time and we go until 2 o'clock. So how we've done it here with um, Oatana and all the other things going on, we want people to have the opportunity to stop at all the fundraisers and not have to mark off every weekend on their calendar in April. Get it all done in one day. Stop by and bowl with us, go buy a cake, and then end up at the night of nights auction at the end. Yeah, it, it's a busy day, and it's a very generous day, too, for the uh, for the folks of Seal County and Oatana. Uh, it's still obviously you can, uh, there's time if you want to take part in the bowl for kids sake and to raise some money so what what are some steps to take perfect it is definitely not too late to sign up we have times available to bowl but the first step is to give us a call and sign up to bowl i know that our 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock hour are full but we have lanes available at nine o'clock noon and one o'clock at the Oatana. Um, spare time entertainment on Saturday and it is so simple to call us and set up your time and then it's as simple as going on our website and setting up your own web page and I know that sounds a little intimidating but I know nothing about computers and it took me about two minutes to set up mine and then you just let your email do the fundraising for you you send out um, a link to your fundraising page via email and you get pledges just like that so it is not too late in one day I set up my my um, account and it took about two minutes and I emailed it out and within a day I had $500 in pledges. It's that simple. So definitely don't think it's too late to start. And we also have the old fashioned pledge sheets too and you can just download that off of our website. If you want to collect um, money yourself manually you can do that also and just show up the day of and we'll collect it all and you get to bowl and have a great time. Having that online set up is, is nice. I'm sure for a lot of people, it's hard for them to ask for, for donations. And this way, it makes it a little bit easier. You don't, it's the most amazing thing. You're not asking for anything. You're sending out an email, and if someone doesn't want to get that email, they just delete it. Yeah. But most people read it and look at it, and, you know, they give. And every dollar counts. Some people give $50, some people give a dollar. And you know what? Every dollar counts. And the neatest thing about Bull for Kids' Sake, it is a national campaign for Big Brothers Big Sisters. But all the money stays local here. And we are one of the very few Big Brothers Big Sisters agencies. There's 313 of us. We are one of the very few that gets the bowling donated. Both J&J Bowling Center and Spare Time Entertainment donate their bowling, the shoes, the lanes, basically the whole building to us to use for whatever we want our purposes that day. We don't pay for a thing. So that means that every dollar that is pledged goes directly to match a local child with a positive adult role model. If for chance someone would wander in without any pledges and just says, I'll give you some money, is there a certain amount you're kind of looking, a minimum, or someone just wanted to walk in and bowl? Sure. We're looking for a minimum of $50 per person or $250 for a team of five. And you know, somebody might say, oh, that's a lot. Well, it's really easy to get $50 in donation. You know, a couple dollars here, a $5 here, a $10 here. You can get donations pretty fast, but we never turn anybody away. You know, if you want to walk in the door and you have a donation for us, we're not going to turn you away. Mm -hmm. How do you go about your yourself collecting the money? Is it up to the participants to bring the money Saturday or on Friday, or, or how does that work? Well, with the online, that is all done with a credit card, okay. and so it's simple. It's already basically put in there for us in the bank. And if you collect pledges manually, or if someone gives you a check or cash, you just bring that the day of, and we'll put it towards your account. It's as simple as that. You just bring the money with you, and we collect it there. Well, good. Just, just give us the contact information again, web page and more. Sure, can sure. Once again, um, we have Bowling in Faribault on Friday the 15th from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. at J&J Bowling Center. And then on Saturday at Spare Time Entertainment from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And to get a hold of us, call us at 451-5922, or you can find us on the web at 
bbbsofsouthernmn.org. Okay. And again, that's Friday and Saturday, so if you want, maybe you want to take part in both of them, whatever the case may be. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Southern Minnesota. Are you still looking for men? <laughs> we are. We, we're in the middle of our Man Up Minnesota campaign. We're really asking for men to step up and be a volunteer. And we have had men step up, and it is wonderful. We're matching more children than ever, but when that happens, we get more children referred to us. More kids are getting a mentor, and you know, their teachers at school, their social workers, everybody's seeing what a good job it's doing, so they send more children our way. We have about 133 children on our wait list currently, and 70% of those are boys. That's a lot, 133 yep. waiting. 133 kids waiting and 77 are boys. And about one in four volunteers that come to us is a male. So boys wait a little longer. They wait on an average of 453 days for a mentor. That's over a year. Oh, I had no and, idea it was that Yeah, long. and we think that is way too long, and most people think that's way too long. So we're asking men to man up, step up, be a volunteer. You'll never regret it. All the guys that we have that are bigs in our program, think it's awesome. I mean, we play on all the activities. We have sporting activities. We have craft activities. We have just so many things to do that you, you're never at a loss of an activity. All you have to do is pick up your little at their house, bring them out to the activity, and just enjoy some time together. In southern Minnesota, we're talking Steel, uh, County, Rice County, Wasika? Wasika County and Dodge County. Those are the four counties we serve here in southern Minnesota. Of course, we're close enough, like Mower Freeborn, can you, would you take bigs from that to those counties to work with? We would if they're willing to drive. The kids are in our four counties, and, you know, sometimes it seems like a good idea to drive a half an hour and go pick up a kid and do something, but we do ask for at least a year commitment, and, you know, after a while, that drive can get a little long, so we really look for volunteers right here in our county. Okay, I just wanted to bring that up. Cause sure. Asking. And like you mentioned, too, so many times, every time you come in, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Or do, sometimes it's just simply go out in the park and throw a Frisbee or sit and chat. It doesn't cost much. It's about as simple as it gets. I mean, Big Brothers Big Sisters supplies so many fun things to do because of our great sponsors and supporters. We're able to get a lot of things for free. And so we have a lot of activities, and we never ask Bigs to spend any money. It, that's up to them if they want to spend extra money. But there is no need to. We always survey our kids over and over. And, you know, they get to go to Twins games and the museums and the zoos and all these fun things. And when we ask them what their favorite thing to do with their Big is, they always say simply go to their house and hang out. They love that one-on-one -on -one time, just spending that time together. That's a, You don't have to be... I mean, superstar or Superman or anything to be able to change a child's life. It's as simple as spending that one-on-one -on -one time and just making that time for a child. And I know our very old Lisa. She goes up once a week and has lunch with the, with the young. T talk a little bit about that lunch program. Yes, we have the school site uh, mentoring along with our community-based mentoring. Our school site is unique where it takes place at the child's school. It's one hour a week at the child's school and all the mentoring takes place there. You have lunch, you can play a game, you can go out for recess, you can work on schoolwork, but it's once a week and it's at the school. And the difference of that is the community-based match happens out in the community. You pick up the child at their home and then you can go do whatever you want. If it's go to the park and throw a ball, go to the blast and have an ice cream cone, or go up to a twins game. So those are our two different um, different ma matches that we do have, our different programs, and both are very positive and it you know, what they do is they give a child an adult positive role model. Now, the school would get together for lunch. Uh, is that in all four counties, all the schools there, or just Ohtana, or It's in three counties. We three have counties. it in Steele County, Rice, and Dodge. We're new to Wasika County, and we did not, um, we're just doing our community-based match there, and not the school site as of yet. Okay, so those who are, you know, in the Triton School District, Faribault School District, you can take advantage and do something like that as well. We're uh, talking to Michelle Redman, Big Brothers Big Sisters of Southern Minnesota. We'll uh, get you wrapped up before our next guest. Just another recap of when's co what's coming up and how we can take part. Well, Saturday is the day of giving here in Owatonna. You can start out the day at Spare Time Entertainment with Big Brothers Big Sisters Bowl for Kids' Sake. We start at 9 a.m. and we go until 2 o'clock. And it's just we ask you to spare an hour to change the life of a child. Come out, you get to bowl and have a great time. And then you can hit the other two fundraisers right after that. Okay, we'll take a little bit of a break and then we'll get back with our second guest, uh, Beth Svenby, coming up in just a little bit on AM 1590.